Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The United States has never stopped suppressing China's chip industry, with rounds of bans and upgrades more frequently than mobile phone systems. But in this situation, European chip giants chose to do the opposite. Not only did they not stay away from China, but they invested heavily in the Chinese market. What secrets are hidden behind this upstream operation? The temptation of the Chinese market is irresistible to anyone. To talk about the reasons why European chip manufacturers increase investment in China, the key words that cannot be avoided are, the Chinese market is big enough. Especially in the field of automotive chips, China is not only the world's largest automotive market, but also the leader of new energy vehicles. Think about it, electric cars are almost inseparable from chips, from battery management, smart driving to entertainment systems, chip support is needed everywhere. If a chip company chooses to stay away from the Chinese market, what is the difference between that and cutting off its own financial path? European automotive chip giants such as Infineon, ST Microelectronics, and NXP have been very active in China in the past few years. The expansion of the factory in Wuxi, the new production line in Shanghai, and the establishment of various R&D centers are all investments of billions of euros. These companies have even established localized production lines in China, directly realizing full chain made in China, from design to manufacturing. Why are they so competitive? In fact, it's very simple. The Chinese market is too fast. Compared with the European and American markets, Chinese consumers are more receptive to new technologies and have more expectations for product iterations. What companies learn in the Chinese market can often be fed back to their global business. Rather than betting, it's better to say it's a must-choose question. The US ban can't stop the power of market demand. The US chip ban seems to be very powerful, but the actual effect is getting more and more discounted. These chip companies in Europe obviously value the market more than politics. After all, the survival of a company depends on orders, not standing in line. What's more, the size of the Chinese market is here, who dares to give up easily? Not only that, the US ban has also made European companies feel a sense of crisis. In order to reduce their dependence on US technology, many companies have begun to promote localized production in China. This curve-saving approach is, to some extent, a counterattack against the US ban. Just imagine, when chip manufacturers have achieved a closed loop of the entire production chain in China, no matter how much the United States restricts technology exports, it will be difficult to completely strangle China's neck. Moreover, not only European companies, but also major American chip manufacturers are quietly increasing their investment in the Chinese market. AMD, Qualcomm, Intel and other giants also understand that China is not only the largest chip consumer market, but also an important source of technological innovation. Only by taking root in China can we truly keep up with the pace of the global industry. The confidence behind the risk, market dividends and technological innovation. Of course, this choice is not without risk. Everyone knows that the United States has put a lot of pressure on these companies, and supply chain disruptions and technological blockades may happen at any time. But for these chip manufacturers, the dividends of the Chinese market are enough to make them willing to take risks. First is the explosive growth of new energy vehicles. Data shows that China's new energy vehicle sales have been ranked first in the world for several consecutive years, 
and the demand for automotive-grade chips has naturally risen. Secondly, the speed of technological innovation in the Chinese market is amazing. Many European manufacturers said that only by localizing production in China can they better adapt to market demand and quickly launch products that meet customer expectations. In addition, the Chinese government's support for the chip industry is also very strong. From tax incentives to policy support, to collaboration between upstream and downstream of the industrial chain, the Chinese market not only has demand, but also provides complete ecological support. For European companies pursuing efficiency, who cannot like this all-round convenience. The global chip industry landscape is quietly reconstructing. This wave of operations by European chip giants actually reveals a profound industry change the global chip industry is moving towards a more diversified direction. Once, the United States dominated the chip industry with its technological leadership and market monopoly. But with the rise of China, this one-man dominant pattern is being broken. The Chinese market is not only a major consumer country, but also has become the main force of technological innovation in some fields. What European companies value is not only the current market share, but also the future technological trends. After all, whoever can keep up with market changes can take the initiative in the competition. The US ban has indeed added a lot of variables to the chip industry, but from the current perspective, this containment strategy is unlikely to fundamentally change the trend of global development. On the contrary, more and more companies choose to embrace the Chinese market, proving with actions that market demand is the core driving force for the development of the industry. So, the question is actually very simple. Should we obey the US ban and give up the world's largest market? Or should we embrace the challenges and opportunities of the Chinese market? For these chip companies, the answer seems to be very clear. In the next few years, the competitive landscape of the global chip industry may change even more. And the role of the Chinese market will become increasingly important. Whoever can better seize this opportunity will be able to occupy a more advantageous position in future industry competition. This chip game has just begun. What do you think about this? Welcome to interact with me in the comment area.